Hello all, welcome to this course on ISTQB Foundation level examination preparation. This is a chapter 6 and here we have the two support for testing and uh, the total number of uh, marks can be held in this chapter is 4 marks. Alright, so I guess you are, you are clear about test tool consideration. Followed with that we have test tool process that is what is the purpose of the test tool. Uh, there is a process that is includes the test tool purpose. All right. So after that we have the test tool classification. So here we have test tool purpose, that is purpose of the test tool. So it's a very simple. So for what we have some tools is required. Say for example, if you want to, you know, uh, if you want to break a wall, this is a wall, you can consider this is a wall. And if you want to break this wall, what is required for you? You know, uh, you, may, you may be required with some kind of axe, right? So it's a basic one, you may be required with some axe or some other hardware tools that to break it all right so this is a one way so this way is being coming under the manual so if you want to break it with your ha naked hands then you may require this uh, if you if you use some jcb kind of things jcb or bulldozer or uh, there's some other machine is automatic machineries then you can go ahead with it so automated also you can do so here automated can be useful in two ways one is to avoid or to reduce the human effort say for example you can break this wall by your hands as well but still you are using the automation because to reduce the human burden so that is a one thing all right and another thing is the scenario where the manual test is not been possible that is the manual actions if this is a single wall is fine if like this you have you know hundreds of uh, walls like kind of uh, consider you have you want to break some shopping mall you have to want to reconstruct or renovate so is it possible to do with your naked hand no it's not possible right so things which is not possible and you are automating it so that is a another thing all right so these are these are the three things and final one is uh, two we have uh, one is such defect reproducibility all right if there is any issues any defect to maintain that we need tools and final one is for the reliability you know whatever we do manually but you know automation is always reliable because uh, there will be the consistent performance that will be uh, the you know the, the the things that human manual intervention may not possible there also automation comes into picture so these are all the purpose of the test tool so this is what i explained i i hope you understood this let's see on a theoretical basis so that you can get a grip more but this is for just for you to understand all right i'm sorry not classification the purpose so i'll just strike it out i'll just write as a purpose all right so you improve the efficiency of the test by manual test all right so manual test activities throughout the test process second one is automate the activity that cannot be executed manually so i mean right so here this part yeah first one is manual then automate the activities which is cannot be manually executed then improve the efficiency of the test activities by automating a repetitive task or regression so whatever we are using for the regression testing see here we have right so of course it is possible to do manually but still to reduce the uh, human effort or the manual effort we are going with the automation then increase the reliability of the testing which increases the reliability and finally for the level of defect reproducibility and the quality of test activities so for these purpose these are all the five purpose uh, that we are going for the test tool um, test tool for uh, any kind of uh, you know executions or even for the reviewing even for reviewing also we use a uh, few tools so that will be seen in our upcoming videos and the tutorials so this is very i guess it's very easy for you to understand i'll just give you a, a quick brush up once again so first one is the purpose is manual then automation which is manually not possible the next one is automation which is manually possible but to just to reduce the human effort all right then reliability then defect reproducibility that's it these are all the five 
purpose with respect to the test tool all right in the next video we'll have a quick look on classification of testing tools i'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care so this is the stuff that we are going to discuss in our upcoming video why the the concept of segregating the videos is you should not get confused that's why all right because now if you learn this you should have see even when we have a confusion here all right so they mentioned test tool classification but it's a purpose so that's what it, if it is an individual video you can understand this you can remember this you know individual like you, you feel like you can you completed one one unit or one chapter all right that's what so in the next next part we'll have a look on classification of test tool